It's perfect conditions to maybe take off on a trip, but travel plans are definitely up in the air as WestJet is preparing for a potential pilot strike, which could start tomorrow morning. Nearly 100 flights have already been canceled today by the airline. And for more on how travelers will be impacted, we're joined live this afternoon by Martin Firestone. He's the president of Travel Secure Inc. Martin, good to talk to you about this. Not the best news for the travel industry, specifically if you're a WestJet passenger. What should WestJet passengers who have tickets maybe for either today, even Martin, or the next several days be doing right now? Those ones have a decision to make. They have to decide either to find alternative arrangements on another airline or just cancel their trip. The ones I worry about the most are the ones who are sitting in Mexico right now mm -hmm. expecting to come home tomorrow. What are they supposed to do? They're going to have a real problem finding alternative flights and they're paying $500 a night in a hotel room. So there's lots of problems for those ones especially. Yeah, is there any indication from WestJet that they may be able to do anything to bring people to home or sort of part of a WestJet vacation package? Nothing at all. So I really think it's being left up to the passengers at this point. So far, many flights have been canceled today. It's as if there's an impending hurricane and they're trying mm. to ground flights for fear the planes will be out of the country and crews when the strike does go into effect, if it does, 3, 3 a.m. in the morning. So I do not believe any alternative arrangements are being made on behalf of the travelers at this point. Is there any responsibility on behalf of WestJet to do anything, whether it's rebook tickets uh, or perhaps help people out in terms of if you have to stay a couple of extra nights in Mexico, for example, or is this because of the labor situation and nature of this that they're sort of off the hook, as it were? Yeah, there's the gray area right there. Is it within their control? Or is it not in their control? One would think that a strike is within their control, so they should be responsible. They may take the position that it's not. So there's where our problem lies right now. The bottom line is everybody has to keep receipts of all costs, accommodation, food, any expenses they incur, because ultimately if they're going to file a claim with the Canadian Transport Agency or WestJet based on the Air Passenger Bill of Rights, they better be very organized because there's lots of monies here that are not going to be reimbursed and and at best, you can only hope that some of it will. Mm -hmm. And Martin, when you talk about, you know, you made a recommendation right off the bat saying, you know, cancel your flights really at this point. Can you cancel and get your money back or do you cancel and sort of get credit for another trip another time on WestJet? No, I believe WestJet will honor all refunds, especially between May 15th and the 21st is mm -hmm. what they said. But I suspect if you booked months in advance, you're going to have a problem. But what they're not going to cover, and this is the scary part, you may be going on a cruise. If you can't get to that cruise, who's paying for the non-refundable $10,000 that that cruise cost mm -hmm. you? There's where the problems lie at this point. And of course, looking around, Martin, I mean, there's only so many flights, so many options for travelers, particularly out of Canada. Uh, I'm pretty much assuming here that other airlines, i.e. Air Transat, Air Canada, uh, some other you know smaller airlines, they're probably booking up and it's probably almost impossible to find flights right now. That's correct. And, and at what price are those flights? Mm -hmm. You know, the more seats that are taken, the, the more chance that the flight, uh, the ticket price is even going to get higher. So it's, it's just going to come unaffordable for many to even go that route. So again, the ones who are here, they should cancel. The ones who are away already, they are the ones that are going to have the real problem. What do you think is at stake here, Martin, for WestJet as an airline itself? I mean, you know, just coming out of the pandemic, that appetite for travel, we've seen it come back perhaps in a bigger wave than was even anticipated by the industry. And now something like this happens. The last thing the travel industry period needed, the last thing WestJet needs, their reputation will be tarnished. I mean, whether they're right, wrong, and different union or the ownership, this is not a good situation. And people are going to be hesitant to book it, even when it does settle in the future. What's the outcome then? And should they deal and fly with WestJet? It's a real a situation that they're going to have to face. Okay, well, we'll be facing it and we'll see what happens, of course, as of 3 a.m. tomorrow. Martin Firestone, president of Travel Secure Inc. Appreciate the time. Again, as always, good to talk to you.